Hi, this is Mr. Evans. This video is going to look at this bullet point here, uh, variable, fixed, and total costs. So I'll start with fixed costs. Um, it's really important when you're defining fixed and variable costs that you mention the term output. Uh, fixed costs are costs that remain the same regardless of the output of a business. So in other words, fixed costs remain the same. Let's take the example of a bakery. Um, let's say a bakery makes a million cakes. Okay, the fixed costs are going to be the same regardless of whether that bakery makes zero cakes or makes a million cakes. So if we have a look at these, rent, advertising, managers' salaries, vehicle insurance, it doesn't matter how much the business actually produces. These costs will remain constant at least that's the theory so for example if i'm renting a premises for three thousand pounds a month and i make a million cakes in that month my rent is three thousand if i make zero cakes in that month my rent is still three thousand so it doesn't matter how many cakes i make my rent is going to stay the same it's the same for advertising if i take out a ten thousand pound advert it doesn't matter how many cakes i make if i make no cakes that advert costs ten thousand pounds if i make a million cakes that advert costs ten thousand pounds so these costs do not change regardless of output okay salaries are a, a fixed payment uh, that you often pay to managerial staff or teachers get salaries doesn't matter how many hours your teacher works they don't get overtime paid they're not paid by the hour um, those costs remain constant regardless of the output of a business so very simple let's just take bill's bakery let's just say uh, they are making cakes and their fixed cost of £40,000. Well, when they go from zero to 1,000 cakes, their fixed costs remain the same at £40,000 all the way through because those costs are fixed. And the key thing about this, if you just put fixed costs remain the same, full stop, as a definition, that's not going to get you the marks. It's fixed costs remain the same regardless of a business's output. So what are variable costs? Well, the variable costs are the costs that change in proportion to a company's output. So we've got raw materials, packaging, transportation costs, overtime payment. All of these um, costs that a business incurs are going to increase the more a business makes. So if I make zero cakes, I spend zero on materials. I don't need any materials to make any cakes. So if I make no cakes, my raw material costs are zero. Um, but if I make a million cakes, my raw material costs are going to be far higher because the more cakes I make, the more raw materials I need. It's the same with packaging. It's the same with transportation. The more cakes I need, or the more cakes I make, the more cakes I need to deliver to my customers and so my transportation costs rise. So the more cakes I make, uh, the more my variable costs change because variable costs are the costs that change in proportion to a company's output. Again, if you just write variable costs and costs that change, it doesn't mean anything. Um, variable costs are costs that change proportionally with an organization's output. So you can see here the variable costs are 20 pounds per unit. Okay, maybe that's not very real realistic for cakes, but let's just go with it. You can see that the variable costs increase the more output I produce. So if it's 20 pound a cake, I make a thousand cakes, then my variable costs are £20,000. Expensive cakes, but um, maybe that wasn't a very thought, well thought through example. So total costs. This is the final set of costs that you need to be aware of. And obviously the total costs are very important for a business to know. You do it, you, you find out your total costs by adding your total fixed costs, your total variable costs, maybe TFC versus T, uh, plus TVC, or just uh, FC plus VC equals TC total costs um, but yeah so the total cost is simply adding together your fixed and your variable costs and um, I've done that here well how would that look like in a diagram well we often use um, similar charts to this with output down here on the uh, vertical uh, sorry, the horizontal axis at the bottom. So the number of cakes being made is along here. Uh, the costs and the sales revenue come up here. In this case, it's only costs at the moment because we don't have any information about how much we're selling the cakes for. And you can see 
the fixed costs are always in a straight line. It's always £40,000. doesn't matter how uh, much my output is, the fixed costs remain the same regardless of make, whether I'm making zero cakes or thousand cakes. Constant fixed costs, which means a constant uh, horizontal line. Variable costs change directly with proportionally with output. So um, as I make more cakes, my, ver my variable costs increase proportionally and so they always start at zero and uh, go upward from there. My total costs um, always increase um, proportionally with my variable costs and they're simply the fixed cost plus the variable cost. So at zero cakes here you can see the fixed cost of 40,000 plus zero equals 40,000 for the total cost. So that's why the total cost line starts there. At 2,000 cakes, well, my fixed costs are 40,000, so are my variable costs. So at 2,000 cakes, my total costs are 80,000 pounds. So that hopefully should give some clarity about total, variable, and fixed costs.